Alright, this is a review of my Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird model kit by Italeri. I built this kit, or I finished it rather, about four months ago now? Four or five months ago, roughly. I don't know exactly when, but it was roughly around that time. Uh, this kit took about four days to build. It wasn't that... it didn't take that long nor was it that difficult. Um, I'm just going to get it right out there. Um, I say this is probably one of my more worst models that I think I've built. I did not enjoy building this kit at all. Um, if you've built this kit yourself, you might know what I'm about to say. I think it's universally agreed. The fit on this kit is absolutely horrific. Um, I basically had to put the kit in essentially in a vice grips because these two shells, um, I'll get into that in a second, these two shells wouldn't actually stick together so I had to basically press multiple. I put like three or four Harry Potter books on top of the kit to keep the held together while the glue was drying. Um, it's kind of funny looking back now but it was quite tricky to build. Um, now if I just tap the kit here, you see that? Okay, that is not my fault. That's actually a design flaw. Um, this kit did not come with weights, and if that was just a mistake on behalf of the kit, it should have came with weights. I just put a load of coins in here in the fuselage. Um, if I did not put coins, the kit would just be constantly like that all the time. Um, and it actually was like that. I actually had to reopen the whole model again after the glue had dried and put coins in it. That's partly my fault, to be honest, but still, it is something to note. I didn't paint... I, I could have done a prettier job with this kit, but I was kind of fed up with it. Um, this is actually the first time I've experienced silvering on the decals, even though I put so much decal solution on it. You can see a lot of decals of some of them are okay actually, but some have just gone a bit weird. I don't know. I think this one here is the most prominent. Uh, it does come with a drone actually. I think which the drone doesn't actually come off, and it is optional. Um, but I think it's very. Pr I think it's quite nice. Uh, I know there's different colors you can actually paint this model as well. Now, one mistake I made with this kit. Um, I was quite inexperienced starting off, so maybe if I had to build this kit now, I would have done a better job. But um, I basically used spray gloss varnish, uh, which was a very bad idea. Um, you can see how it's like all, f see how it's like all fogged up there. It's not smooth or shiny at all. Well, it's shiny, but it's not smooth. Maybe that's why the decals have gone bad. Um, I can only say this really from my own point of view and my own experience, and maybe if I do, if I rebuild this in the future, I seriously doubt it, but um, I really wanted to build a SR-71 because I think the plane is really cool. It's a very cool Cold War era aircraft. Um, but in saying that, I just didn't really like the kit. Um, but I, I still think it's, it's really cool. If you want to tackle it yourself, you want to challenge, uh, definitely go for it. I think it's about 20 euros online. It's not that expensive. They're quite common as well. It's quite an old kit though. I don't know how old it is, but it's definitely it's definitely before my time anyway. Um, but you know, looking back, I think it was a great learning experience. Okay, kit. I'm sure if I had built it today, I might do a bit better. Um, I don't know. If you guys built this yourself, let me know what you think. I think it's, it's alright. It's nice on the shelf, but if you look up very closely, it's absolutely atrocious. Um, but I think with the drone, it just it looks cute. So I don't know. That's an added bonus. Anyway, I think it's I think it's quite nice, especially on a shelf. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this small little review. Thank you for watching.